Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to show you how I achieved this sugaring type effect that you see on this set of nails. I posted these nails on Instagram and I got some questions and some DMs and some emails. So I decided to do a video over this technique a few, as well as a few others. So this is just some examples and I just want to give you a beforehand that the things that I you know put on here are just not that serious they're just examples you know so it's probably not my best line work or you know the best it could be but anyways a little disclaimer so I took this Madam Glam color in Workaholic and if you haven't watched my review and swatches of the Madam Glam products please watch that and I top coated them in the soak off top gel and wiped off the tacky layer. So I'm just showing you a few of the different items I used to achieve the various look. I had some pigment, some glitters, uh, clear acrylic, some colored acrylic. Um, I also show a technique with um, like the white chrome and the glow powder. So I'm showing you the brushes that I have. I have this Wildflowers mini brush. But as a cheaper alternative, I have the Alpha Detail Brush as well. They're both very, very fine point. And I do have a discount code for the Alpha Brushes, so please look below in the description bar. So I'm going to be using the Rubber Top Coat from Gel Bottle Ink. And the reason I like this, and I just dish it out on a piece of tape. And I just like using tape as a little palette area because it's disposable. Tear it, use it, throw it away. So back to the Rubber Top Coat. I like using it because it is not as self-leveling it doesn't self-level as quickly as like a regular top coat also it's more durable the gel bottle ink does not recommend that you use it to build out a nail but it's almost as strong to build out a nail if that makes sense so it is a soak off kind of hard gel so that's why i really like using it in this process just because it's more sturdy or maybe durable is the better word but anyways so I go ahead and put you know whatever drawing you have and I'm taking a little scooper you can use like a cuticle pusher or whatever you have and while it's still wet you just dump the clear acrylic on there and it could be colored I'll show that example next you can do like a little ombre of one color to the next and again make sure it's wet and I do not recommend that you press it in because you can disturb your design, especially if you're doing something more detailed and fine. So after you cure it, go ahead and dust it off and your beautiful image will be revealed. So you can do draw whatever. This is not an art lesson. I'm just doing some random little swirls. And you could do other designs with this. I mean, I'm, this is just a demo. I'm not making this like tutorial for the actual artwork necessarily it's just more so the technique so please don't take to heart like what I'm doing because I don't even know what I'm creating on this nail I'm just doing like random little comma designs a swirl here and there nothing special so please don't use my actual what I'm drawing as an example just look at the technique <laughs> um so this one is the same process I'm just showing you how you can kind of do a little ombre or do multiple colors on one nail by using colored acrylic so I'm just dumping that over the design while it's wet. Don't forget, do not press and then cure it for the recommended time for whatever, you know, product you're using to draw with and then dust it off once it's cured. Now, those weren't the best two colors to ombre, but you see how it went. So next, I'm just showing you how to do the same process using the glitter and pigment. So on this nail, I just threw down a little like abstract rose looking type design and I'm doing the same thing on one side I just show you that I'm using the glitter and then on the other side I just dump like a like a fine pigment and they're both from the wildflower stack but that doesn't necessarily have to be the case and I do find that the one that I use the pigment that side was um, more detailed I think because the pigment is more like saturated than the glitter, it's kind of spread out and it might look better with a finer glitter if you have one. And then also it's kind of more transparent, the glitter is. But you know, you can do that with whatever. It's just an example. And I use the same rubber top coat to do that one. So next, 
I am showing you basically the same technique, but this time I am using the gel polish to do my drawing, my little swirl, detail, lace detail, or whatever you're trying to do. Like I said, you could do zebra if somebody's into zebra still or, you know, whatever the case may be. You could probably do something cool with like a, a camo design and like fill in some splotches of the camo and do it 3D. That might, might be cute. I just thought of that. If you do that, tag me so I can see how it looks. <laughs> so I'm just doing the same thing. I'm doing my, you know, put my little swirls down or whatever it may be. And then I'm going to take the clear acrylic this time and just dump it on. So you can see the drawing. You probably leave it like that. And that would be cool. But I think it looks so cute once you dump this clear acrylic on there. And then again, do not press it because you'll disturb your, you know, image that you have laid down. And then go ahead and I just kind of dust it off a little bit. You just want to make sure it's 100% covered and then cure it and then dust it off and this is probably my favorite i love how this looks it stands out a little more than the clear so on the left is when i use the um you know the clear rubber top coat to do the drawing and dump the clear the one on the right is when we use the actual matching color gel polish and then dump the clear so you can see the difference and you don't necessarily have to use a matching gel polish i could have probably done like one that was two shades darker or something I was kind of in the same color family and got a cute look. I could have done like a black gel polish and got a great look too. So I'm showing you a different technique. This isn't like the powdered sugar look, but this is just a another look kind of on the same field. So I am drawing with my gel two no wipe top coat. It's the same top coat that I personally use to do like my chrome type designs. So whatever you use, if you use the Wildflowers Metallic Top Coat, um, any of those, whatever you use to, like I said, for your chrome designs. So I went ahead and did my drawing. I cured it. And now I am just rubbing in the pigment. And there's a little on the background. It's because I didn't apply the top coat to the entire swatch well. That's the only reason. And with this process, you want to make sure... The top coat that you use to for the entire nail is not one of the rubbery top coats so it doesn't stick to the background and your design unless that's what you're going for. So next I'm just showing you how to use it with the glow and I'm just throwing on some random lines and with this one I'm using the rubber top coat just because we're going back to that powdered sugar type design. I thought of this last so I probably should have put it earlier in the video but I'm sorry. So I used the rubber top coat, drew my little lines, and then I dumped the glow pigment on, cured it, and I went ahead and dusted off the excess pigment, and this is how it looks. This is just glowing in the dark. Excuse the quality. It's kind of hard to focus, but you can see it's the Wildflowers New White Glow that I use, so definitely check that out. It's so cool. And you can see that it still glows in like dim lighting. It kind of looks more blue in that light, but it is a white glow. You can see how it looks in regular lighting. So just to review, we did one side with the clear rubber top coat from Gel Bottle and Dump Clear Acrylic. We did another side using color acrylic over that same rubber top coat. And we did one example with a glitter and um, a glow and a pigment. All of those, I used the same rubber top coat and then dumped the pigment, the glow, the glitter, and then lastly, we have one where we use an actual gel polish color. And you may want to experiment because some will level and run more than others. But these Madame Glam ones were great. And then we use another side, a different technique, using our metallic kind of top coat. And then rubbing our pigment into it. And it gives it a little bit of texture detail. And I love the contrast of that middle one when I used the gel polish um, to do the drawing and had the chrome. I think those would be beautiful as the actual design on a nail. I do want to add with the chrome look, you do want to make sure you top coat that. So all these can stand on their own. You do it, dust it off, you're done. But the actual chrome one that I do on the right side of this nail, you want to do that design, then go ahead and top coat the entire nail. If not, the pigment will, it'll dust off and brush off eventually. 
So I just really want to thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to thumbs up. That really helps me out. Subscribe, of course. And please don't forget to look below in the description box for any additional information and coupon codes. All right, you guys. Bye.